Well, folks, I'm finally getting to go into the beehive. David gave me this new little fangled thing that's supposed to be able to make it easy to mark the queen if we find her. But I have a feeling that hive is absconded or something. It's not really much going in and out of it. And I just, something's wrong with it. And I'm just glad that we're able to get in there today. Um, but man, it's been crazy around here. We've got a ton of things. Let me show you some stuff. I have been, uh, I have been, um, taking nails out of all this slumber and I hurt my wrist. Let me show you that. See there how swollen it is. It was a whole lot worse yesterday. I caught my, caught my watch in between the hammer and the and the um the wood <laughs> and it literally i think it just bruised it up made it swell so we're we've salvaged some of these things and i'll show you boniface harness was uh doing remodel i mean they're making a building and everything out on 520 and um they we're putting, they would have to pay to take this off. So we got it. So these are the two things that we've got. We got more that's at David's and that over there. And I've been working diligently trying to get all the screws and the nails out of it. I got a whole bag of them right there of uh, screws and nails and such. And I might be able to use those again so we've been busy and I've been helping my girlfriend as much as I can so that she can get some errands done. Oh, it's crazy, crazy, crazy time of the year. And I've got probably 10 bags of onions in there I'm cutting up. That's why my eyes are all messed up. I'm gonna, um, I don't know if I'm gonna can them or not. I might just go ahead and saute them up and roast them real good or whatever and put them in bags and put them in the freezer so that I can use them. I've got plenty of dehydrated onions and I just, it's just too doggone hot to run that dehydrator right now. So, anyways, waiting on him to finish that. Oh crap. Didn't mean to drop that. I break that, he might break me. <laughs> Just teasing. He wouldn't like it, but he wouldn't hurt me. Anyways, we fuss at one another all the time, but we get along pretty good now that the kids are all grown. Check him out. He's making smoke. <laughs> I definitely smell honey. There's honey over in there. There's uh, the queen excluders on the bottom. And this is full of honey. Tons of honey. Now we're not really looking for her, are we? No, she's in the bottom probably. She's in the bottom. I ain't even cracked the top box yet. No, I'm just saying we're not going to look for her. If we find her, that's fine, right? Right. That's honey. That's pretty top. cool. And bunches of it. Okay. So I didn't have the thing on, but this one has they've they've put the frame and fixed it and they're it looks kind of like that one but it wasn't drawn out as much um this had the plastic shelf in it and and uh they hadn't started drawing it out but they did have it framed in and then the next one it was all drawn out but no nothing in it yet so they're working they're doing a great job working I just seen a bee with a really black behind. <laughs> yeah, they're, they're pretty Isn't that dark. funny? How different they are? They're pretty dark, these are. Uh, 
don't, I don't know if it's two different types of bees in there or what. He's going to take this off. And, uh, yeah, I've got to see what's going on in the bottom. See got what's honey in the top, which I want. want them to do. I'll do it. See, they don't like these foreign objects in their home, so they get pretty frustrated with stuff like that. Mosquitoes are terrible. There's a whole ton of hive beetles over here that I killed. Cool. A bunch Do of we them. have any more of those things? Yeah. Swiffers? I, I think. I don't know. I may have them at home. I'm not real sure. Oh, wonderful. They may be in the truck. I don't know. Now don't sling them when you pop that off there. Pretty please. Thank you. Okay. Look at all these hive beetles I killed. Mm -hmm. Alright girls. You need to get away from me. I just want to get it done and get it closed up. Girls, get away. They're not doing anything. You're standing in front of their hive. I know. What do you I'm expect? at the entrance. I know. <laughs> Which we need. We're we're probably going yeah. to fix that later. Yeah. Look at this. Look at the hive beetles. <laughs> that's that's the Swiffer that we put in there. So, I'm going to set that right there. I can get it later and throw it in the garbage. <laughs> How many's in the, can you see inside that trap? You down, girls. Not yet, I can't. Okay. Don't get stung now. Turn like this. If I do, I do. How come you don't have gloves on? Because uh, it's better, easier for me to work. And there's a leaf that fell down on that one on the other side. Let's see. Hold it. Hold it where I can look in it. I see there's it. a way to get the leaf out. if there's any eggs in there can you no this it's is too a dark cap no it partially capped on one side bring there. it closer to me up higher so I can see yeah some of that's not even got anything in it turn it around looking for eggs no, that's all looks like nectar and honey beetles. I could put part of that back in there, I think. So I'm going to set it right there. The high beetles get stuck in that Swiffer stuff. Some in there, too. Yep. So, gapped honey. And can you turn that around for me so I can use both hands? Yeah. And this has got capped hoodie and pollen. I'm not sure. I'm not sure if that's pollen or Okay, so this is the other hive that we're going to check. 
We're, I'm convinced the other one does not have a queen. So I'm going to see about getting a queen hopefully tomorrow because there's no eggs in there and there's no uh, capped brood or anything. All right, so there's a lot of high beetles in this one. And I think part of that is because it's in the shade. And well, it doesn't the have the chickens to help out with the beetles. So, anyways. I'm trying to stay out of the direct thing because I'm not. I need to set this down here. Look for the queen while you're there. I am. I am. Come on, girls. So we're going to have to get back in these in the next couple of days and get some more high beetles stuff to put in there. Right here on the side is where you pick it up. Well, there's one on the front, too. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there's high beetles all through this thing. Terrible. Uh, 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 uh. You ain't on there right. Well, that's the best mm -hmm. I can do. Pull it closer that's to That's the, the best I can do. Just leave it alone. It ain't on the ground. girls tapped my hand there. She didn't bite me or sting me, but she did oh, tap Oh my me. goodness, look at this thing. Man, a bunch of bees. Mm -hmm. I know there's a queen in here. Has to be. Yeah, but we need a queen in the other one. I've got to go down there talk to Charles. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I just seen a high beetle over there too. Come on, girls, move. And they're getting a little bit more active towards me. I'm sweating so badly. Come on, girls. Out. Really? <clears throat> Was that her? I don't know. I ain't looking at bees right now. I'm trying to get... That's trying to get loose. That you're it, tearing up honey. Yeah, that's pretty thick. Here, let me. I don't want to get stung. That's pretty thick. Yep. They're. I don't know why it's so so thick like that. <sighs> now see, look at. This has got, well folks, we, I am going to make some changes. I'm going to make sure that I put all deep frames in there because I don't like the way that they are uh, still building on those others. We left them because that was part of their original um, place, but um, we need deep frames. so. I'm going to have to save up some money, hopefully, and get some deep frames to put in there. I got some deep frames. And, well, David says it's got deep frames, so we need to fill both of those bottom bottom uh, boxes up with deep frames. And that way they won't have all that craziness going on and won't be building out so weirdly. But that bottom is full of honey that we were just in. I know we... I didn't show you all of it. I had to turn off the camera and help David because they were getting a little bit peeved, you know. Um, anyways, that hive's doing great. The first hive, no queen. No queen cells, no nothing. Uh, so, my thing, my thought process is go get me a queen and put it in there. And don't worry about it. Let her do a business, right? 